This movie describes how to use the activity reach the target, decimals and place value. Here we have a number line, and a green tick mark sits on the number line. Our goal is to determine the location of the tick mark. To begin, I'll press Start. Now I'll enter my guess for the location of the green tick mark into this blue box. I think the tick mark sits at 23. Notice now what happens with the blue tick mark when I click outside of this box. The blue tick mark moved over, or scooted, to the location that I entered, namely 23. Now 23 was too big. The green tick mark actually sits to the left of 23. But not a problem, I can make a second guess. So this time, I'm going to change my guess from 23 to 21. And again, I'll click outside the box. Our blue tick mark moved to 21, and it coincides exactly with the green tick mark. So it looks like we found the location. To check, we can press Show Target Value. And indeed, the location of the target is 21. To play again, I'll press New Target, and that moves my green tick mark to a new location. Once again, I can enter my guess as to the location of the green tick mark in this blue box. Now after I play for a while, I might want to try a different number line. To do so, I come over here to the lower left corner of my sketch, and I can change the left endpoint, the right endpoint, or the tick interval of my number line. So for instance, let's say I'd like to add some negative numbers into the mix. I'm going to change my left endpoint to negative 100. I'll keep my right endpoint at 100, and I'll change my tick interval to 20. With these new numbers in place, I'll now click Zoom to New Values, and my number line now is updating itself, and it now has a lower bound, a left endpoint of negative 100, it keeps the right endpoint of 100, and it shows tick marks at every 20. And now I can play just like I did before. It looks to me that this tick mark, uh, the green tick mark, is at 9, so I'll enter 9 as my guess, and when I click outside the box, my blue tick mark scoots on over, and it looks like I'm a little bit off, so I'll change my guess. Perhaps the green tick mark is at 8. Uh, still not 8, so 7. There we go. Okay, so this particular number line deals with units. I can move on to a number line where the location of the green tick mark is exact to tenths, and it works just like the previous number line did. I press Start, I enter my guess, and the blue tick mark will scoot to whatever location I give it. And as before, I can change the left endpoint, the right endpoint, and the tick interval. As I move on, I can move on to tick marks that are exact to hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and even hundred thousandths. So there's a lot of number lines here where you can practice your ability to reach the target.